Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters in this video we'll be talking about one phenomenon that took place just recently I believe a few months ago and how we can relate that with the end of time this is what we'll be discussing in this video inshallah most of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel if you are one of them consider to subscribe and hit the bell let's take a look at this video first then I will be talking about that new phenomenon what is this video about it is talking about the lake in Iraq that is drying up and a lot of fish they actually showed up dead fish Razasa Lake was once a tourist attraction known for its beautiful scenery and an abundance of fish that locals depended on now dead fish litter its shores and the once fertile lands around it have turned into a barren desert one of Iraq's largest lakes the man-made Razasa is seeing a significant decline in water levels and has been hit by pollution and high levels of salinity during the 1980s and 1990s the Razaza Lake a source of livelihood, it had fish including the yellow fin barbel, vinny and carp, because the water level was good, it says fisherman Sol Abud. But now it has dried up. The Razaza Lake is the latest victim of a water crisis in Iraq, known as that land between the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. Upstream dams and Turkey, Syria, and Iran have shrunk the rivers and their tributaries, seasonal rainfall has dropped and infrastructure has fallen Owen into disrepair. Hundreds of families used to rely on fishing the Razaza for their livelihood. Now, the number of dead fish that turns up is bigger than the number of live fish they can catch. Razaza Lake also known as Lake Mill, Arabic for Salt Lake is located between Iraq's governorates of Anbar and Karbala. The lake was constructed as a measure to control floods in the Euphrates and to be used as huge reservoir for irrigation purposes. Iraqs and tourists frequented hit the lake as a recreational spot to cool down during Iraq's hot summers. Not anymore with the lake getting smaller every year. In recent years, it has been affected not only by the water shortage but by drought, neglect, and increased evaporation during Iraq's hot summers. It has also been hit by pollution due to the diversion of sewage water into the lake and the theft of water quotas allocated to it. The lake cannot be used for the purposes of operating water resources because we do not have sufficient quantities of water to boost the Razasa Lake. Since we're talking about Iraq, let me tell you one very important end of time prophecy. Rasulullah Sosam talked about the Jal and he mentioned there is a place called Kalla. This place is between Sham and Iraq, means in between these two countries. What will happen is this is the place where, in other words, the Fitan, the end of time Fitan will take place more. The Jal is coming, is going to be happening or taking place in that particular area. Not exactly in that particular area because we know the exact place from a Hadith that is uh, Sahih and that place is Isfahan, Iran. That's where the Dajjal will come out from. But nevertheless, this place, Iraq, has a lot to do with the end of time Fitan. Let's talk about the other phenomenon, which is the recent development taking place in Iraq. Just to give you one idea, one example of how bad situation is. Iraq is one of the worst places on earth when it comes to safety and security for anybody means if you go to Iraq today, the fitan, the end of time fitan that we talk about, the fitan is so great that you cannot guarantee your life. Even US, United States, American, with all of these protections, they have military bases and whatnot, cannot guarantee that they will come out of this country alive. This is how bad the situation is, which fulfills the prophecy of Rasulullah that Iraq will be a place where the fitan will take place. We have seen how the militia, like Muqtad al-Sadr, if you remember him from Shia, he is also making it much harder. He is creating this environment very hostile for the Iraqis living there, the local Iraqis. In other words, the situation is getting much, much worse and it is not abating at all. Dear my sisters, we have seen recently, Al Ali, I think her name, YouTuber, she was killed by her father. The, the fitna in Iraq, in other words, it is getting out of hand and it is getting much worse. At the same time, we see that is coinciding with what is happening with these lakes. That Rasulullah said, Rasulullah said, the 
Euphrates River will give up gold, means the lake will dry up and a mountain of gold will come out. We are seeing that same theme happening over and over again. It's being repeated. For example, this second largest lake, the video that I just played, this video has dried up. And many other lakes in Iraq that has direct link with the Euphrates River, Yushikul Furat, is also drying up. And this will pave the way for the end of time ultimate fitan. I want to take you to another video and this video is what is happening in Saudi Arabia. A new phenomenon taking place the way we are seeing that Arab lands are becoming Muruja Wan Hara. Remember the hadith that I mentioned? Rasulullah said, La takum sahatu hatta tawd al Arab Arab Muruja Wan Hara. The hour will not establish until the land of the Arab will turn into luscious green and flowing river. In addition to the discovery of strange objects, strange phenomena are also very common in the desert. As happened in Iraq in 2015. Everyone may not believe that there is a river flowing fast in the middle of the desert. But that is what happened in this barren desert. If you see this river is like flowing sand, but in fact what flows is not just sand, but a ball of ice that is also mixed with sand. This also surprised everyone, especially local residents who directly visited the river. This rare phenomenon occurred due to erratic weather in the Middle East at that time. A very surprising phenomenon also occurred in the desert located in Saudi Arabia, precisely in the village of Al Afluj. Subhanallah, look if at in this. general we only know waterfalls, but what happens in this desert is sand falls. At first many thought this was just an edited video. But even oh. though this is a true fact, according to information this rare phenomenon occurs due to changes in the weather in the desert which causes the sand to be pushed by the wind and the wind causes the sand to fall from the cliff down. This phenomenon is taking place in Saudi Arabia and what you are seeing is not water. Dear and sisters, these are sand falling like river or water stream. This is significant in the sense that the prophecy clearly indicates that a time will come when you will see this kind of river lakes popping up in Saudi Arabia. This river doesn't only contain sand but also ice. Desert, their formation is in such a way that resembles the hadith of Rasulullah when he said the land of the Arab will become Muruja Wanhara. Even though these are not water, mind you, this, these are not water. These are just sand falling uh, from the top of the mountain. Looks like Allah Azzawajal is sending us a clear sign that you will be seeing this kind of phenomena even more in the coming days with the global warming and the changes in the environment. This is perhaps just a precursor of the coming of the end of time. If you're new to the channel again, consider to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.